Well, the bull move is on. Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you're here. This is just a lunchtime update. I already put an update uh, wave analysis this morning. Watch today's video for a uh, complete wave analysis. And uh, as well as uh, the other day, um, I uh, projected these moves as well. I've been calling these moves for a couple of weeks. Just want to uh, uh, just um, make sure you guys are updated on uh, what's going on. And uh, if you're not in this market, uh, how to get in it. Okay. Um, so uh, that's the purpose of this video, just to kind of see. We are heading up to, uh, we got long range targets right now. Um, let's see, let me just show you the long range targets of. Da, 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 Um, of about uh, at least one, uh, 112 to 120 uh, in that ballpark. Um, we're, we're looking at about a move to between 112 to 120 uh, in, in that range. We'll know more as the waves are progressing. Uh, probably going to be higher than that. I'm, I'm thinking we have a potential to go up here in the 130s uh, for a, a, th a three wave and head even higher up into 180. So uh, we're looking very, very bullish right now. Uh, it's looking good. We're still not out of the woods yet. We need to make sure that we... we uh, we cross over some key targets. I've got a green, a green line of profit here. If you want to see that, we need to cross over that to ensure an upside move. Uh, anyway, targets right now to the upside are 112 to 120. Let's look at the uh, short-term uh, targets, which is what I kind of specialize in to help you get in this market if you're not in already at a safe zone. Okay, we're expecting a pullback here, and that's when you want to get in. Um, where are we getting in? Well. Uh, here, let me go back out just a little bit more just so we can see everything in context. There we go. Um, so we've made a one wave followed by a one. Uh, we've got a one, two, one, two of the three wave. So this is one, two, three wave is being made. It's going to be a nice, it's going to be a doozy. Uh, let's see, see where that three wave is going to land here. Oh, come on. I gave these targets this morning, but let me uh, just uh, update you on them. The three wave. We came up to the 2618 to finish the, the three wave of the third wave. Um, so, yeah, this is one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So, there's five waves um, of the uh, third wave. So, it looks like uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So, that's one, two, three. We've got to come down for a four wave and then a five wave. And that's just going to be the third wave of this move, okay? So, uh, yeah, uh, we're looking really good. One, two, three. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, let me just show you the sub count here of. So we'd be looking at one, two, three, coming down for four, going up for five. This is where we want to get in the market, okay? And we can get a scalp trade up to about uh, 100, $102, $103. Okay, so uh, that'll be a nice little trade. Then we're going to expect a larger pullback, and I'll tell you what that's going to look like. So next move, what's it going to be? I'm looking at targets of... Um, let's see, one, two, there it is, top of three. Boom. Looking at a target of about 95.50. Uh, 95.50 is going to be a, a decent little entry. Um, it could come down to 94, but uh, there's no structure there. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't hold my breath there. Uh, about 95.50 uh, to 96 is looking for a pullback to there. Uh, then that'll be the four wave. Now keep in mind that could be, uh, it could paint a picture like a, you know, uh, could be sideways chop for a little while. Okay, and then to the upside. Um, so uh, keep that in mind, but probably going to get it on the first push down. Uh, make sure uh, you're watching for that. Uh, we're going to have an upside target of about, um, let's see if we can get a target there for you. Uh, I've got it sitting there, but uh, let me project it here on the screen. We've got... Um, come down to the bottom of there. Upside target of about $102, between $102 and $104. Most likely about $102. Uh, that, that'll be our fifth wave to the upside. Unless we get an extended fifth, which is a possibility. Uh, we've got a nice uh, a nice extended third here, so I imagine it's going to be more symmetrical than that. Uh, that'll, and that'll finish our uh, three wave out, our third wave. So looking at it for about 102 as a target. Should then see a larger pullback, um, but it's going to end up again coming around uh, the $96 mark um, after that as well. So you got a couple opportunities to get in this market, um, but uh, if that's the case, then we'd be looking at a retrace. If it comes up to 102, 
looking at a retrace of uh, yeah 9650 to 9470 in that ballpark there um, so I'd be looking at around 95 again entry uh, that'll be a nice four wave again that'll also be for uh, some sideways chop and then we'll have another push to the upside what would that look like uh, once that happens um, if we get it looking at about 107 uh, 107 to be the top of this wave roughly um, with the information that's coming in so far. That's my projection for the future. Uh, but for now, uh, so that's going to be the first wave. Then we're going to have a, a larger ABC correction down to the downside. Should retest the $100 level um, or, or even the nine, in the mid-90s. Um, even even down here to the 88 month and that'll be the two wave and then we'll have a, a three wave heading up so it's kind of what I'm looking at and looking for so uh, we got uh, some good trades coming up uh, so right now our first target we need to be looking in around the 9550 mark uh, getting in uh, the market there riding it up to about hundred and two dollars that's that's what I'm looking at for now if some changes I'll be, uh, I'll be posting the like coin swing trading community okay all right you guys have a fantastic day hope that lunchtime update is helpful bye bye